just found one of the most amazing sightings I've ever seen. It's actually a wild serval. It's a, it's a cat that's essentially bigger than a wild cat but smaller than a cheetah or a leopard. Uh, mostly feeds on birds like guinea fowl and any other kind of bird really but they love their guinea fowl. Um, this is the first time I've seen one ever. And the guide who there was a guide here earlier with a tour group. He says in the five years he's been a guide and you gotta remember these guys are out every day, three times a day, every day of their life. In the five years that he's done it, he's only seen a serval two times. This is the second time. He's only seen it once at night. This is the first time during the day. And she's just riding lying right under the bushes, having a bath and just just relaxing. I've never seen two balls together at the same time. It's like they're watching tennis. <laughs> Look at him blink, it's so funny. Absolutely beautiful. Tonight is Poiki night in the Kruger. The nice thing about making Poiki in the Kruger opposed to the other, all the other places is you can stay up as late as you want, no animals, animals will bother you. Okay, we've got the onions in. We've got some delicious lamb here. That's the lamb that's going in. A nice bottle of Australian red wine. That's for drinking and for cooking. It's very important when you cook with wine to use the wine that you would also drink. Don't buy cheap rubbish to cook with. It's got some uh, bry, some garlic bread, that's for the machonchins. Potatoes and then the veggies are still in the fridge. I'm going to get this guy going, we're going to put all the meat in, put the wine in, close it up, go for a quick game drive to Sunset Dam, our last evening drive for the trip and then we'll come back and, and finish it. It takes about three hours and it's going to be amazing beauty the meat is nice and sealed now it's time to uh, add some wine okay the poiki has been going for about an hour we're going to have a quick look see what it looks like oh look at that Look at that. Okay. Here we go. Yeah. Okay, while that's going, close the lid and then we're gonna go for a game drive, see if we can find a nice leopard sighting for the last time. The game drive was not a success. Um, as these things go, the people that are camping next to us, we had a chat earlier and we told them about the, the serval that we saw was just across the road. And I said to them, you know, we saw the serval and they're like, where, where? They want to go have a look. They jumped in the car, they went around, had to go have a look. We jumped in the car, we went a slightly different route where we saw the leopard run across the road. Um, didn't see a single thing, nothing came back, they stopped next to us, they said, um, so I asked them if they saw the serval, they said, well, they saw a cat, or a few cats, and they showed me on their phone the most beautiful, beautiful leopard right next to the road, on the floor, just looking at them, and then two lions on the middle of the road, a big male and a female, and then a honey badger, right next door, where we didn't go. So, you know, that's how these things work, they're quite unfair, but so be it. These things happen. Let's have a look to see what this poiki looks like. Oh, it's going beautiful. 
we got to sort out the car for tomorrow as we're heading to Mozambique tomorrow morning. So I've already got the two reflector vests out hanging, hanging over the seat. Got the fire extinguisher here, easy accessible, warning triangles. Oh, they're under my seat and we've got all our passports and paperwork and everything's ready. Just got to pack up, leave early tomorrow morning. But for now we're just going to relax and enjoy the last few days uh, of the bush. This is one of the best parts about Kruger. It's getting up really early, trying to get first in line, which we're not, not at all this morning. Um, so this people have been waiting here for about 20 minutes, if I heard the first car correctly. And then going out, a cup of tea and some rusks, looking for the game, first thing in the morning. Always great fun, and I think we're off actually. One, just one. I that was quite smooth. Fast one. Go to the right, so the gap is on the front. Gosh, that thing's fast. Zoom in still. Shutter button. Now get a nice composition. Yeah, quickly. No, too late, never mind. What do you mean you want a photo? Now? When she looks up, wait, no, when she looks up. Oh. No. Finally done with Kruger. It was beautiful, beautiful morning to end with. Uh, we're just, uh, just waiting for Nixon into the bathroom quick because it's a long trip now. And generally, borders don't have the best bathrooms available. So we got a through La Bombo, Rosano Garcia, whatever the border is called. Hopefully, everything goes smoothly. And then we should be in Tofu in about nine hours from now. So it's quite a long drive. Buy some cashews and some lychees next to the road hopefully these are actually all good ones this border is ridiculous these things are so overloaded it's crazy so we're gonna we're in the left lane now we'll see how far we get and see what the officials say when we Oh no, wait. Go! Next, Next time on Crikey Africa, Africa Vlogs. Oh, tribal tattoo on that zebra's butt. <laughs>